So I use an old computer, not this old, but this is how I stop FL Studio from glitching. Now FL Studio might start glitching if your buffer size is low. So to fix this, just increase the buffer size to max. Now this is only applicable if you're mixing, mastering, just making a beat or doing any other thing that you do in FL Studio except recording. When recording, you should have your buffer as low as possible to avoid latency issues. FL Studio might also start glitching if you load up so much plugins. Now you can solve this in two ways. First, go to Tools, click on Macros and click on Switch Smart Disable for all plugins. This will turn off all your plugins when they are not being used. So if you have a plugin that doesn't come in to the ending of your track, FL Studio will turn off the plugin till when the plugin is being used. So this will reduce the glitching. The second way to fix this is by finding the plugin or the plugins that are using the most CPU and then mute or delete them. Now before you delete them, you have to convert them to audio files and this is called consolidation. So for example, if you have a reverb on an audio or an instrument. When you consolidate the track with the effect on it, the information which is the reverb that you have on the track will be stored in the consolidated track, meaning you won't be needing the plugin anymore. This is also applicable if you have a synth or an instrument that you're using and you've made a pattern that you like, so you can also consolidate it and then just delete the plugin. <music> Now to do this, make sure that the track is selected and then click on this arrow, click on tools, toggle on consolidate playlist selection and then select consolidate from selection start. After this, just delete the plugin and the glitching will stop. If you don't know the plugins that are causing the problems, just click on view, click on plugin performance monitor and you see the plugins that are overloading the CPU that are always the ones on top. Now, if this doesn't work, just throw away your computer. Now, if your FL Studio keeps crashing and you keep closing your project, this video will show you how to save your project after FL Studio crashes. It's a live sale, and make sure you check it out. And also, please like this video because it will really make my day. Thank you for watching. Peace.